Happy fall, everyone. It's that beautiful time of the year with the cooling temperatures, the beautiful colors. And let's not forget about all those god leaves falling everywhere. And like you can see on my driveway, leaves quickly pile up and can be a huge pain. Just leaves everywhere. So in today's video, I'll unbox, assemble, show, and review the tool that I use to help me maintain all my properties like this one during this time of the year. And that is the Black & Decker Corded Leaf Vacuum and Leaf Blower. It's a two-in-one device. This goes for about $100 at Home Depot. And of course, you'll also want a set of debris bags like these. Let's unbox this sucker. First is the handle to all the vacuum and blower components. Then this is one of several attachments that allows you to configure the type of blower size to use. Then there's the leaf bag and flexible pipe where all the shredded leaves will go into. The ability to strap the leaf bag on your back is awesome, by the way. Here are the other attachments to use as a blower. And lastly is the main component, the actual motor and electrical system. To assemble as a leaf vacuum, the first thing to do is connect the handle with the widest extension to allow leaves to easily be sucked in. These fit just like a puzzle, pushing them together until you hear them snap into place. Make sure that both sides are locked into place, however. Next thing to assemble is the leaf bag by attaching the leaf bag's flexible pipe onto this part of the device. This button here allows you to detach the bag whenever you need to. To attach them together, simply take the flexible pipe and slide it onto the device. You'll know it's fully attached on once you hear it click. Next is to attach the handle we assembled earlier. But to do so, we first need to detach the cover from the bottom. This hole right here is how we'll do that. All that's needed is an Allen wrench. Take that and insert it into the hole, then simply pull it down until the cover disengages. Don't lose this cover. You'll want to reattach it whenever you want to reuse the device as a blower. To attach the handle, line up the parts as shown here, using the gap on the device to push the handle onto it and then push it down on the device until it snaps and makes a clicking sound. And that's the way it looks, folks. Now that we've got everything assembled, we're going to take the bag and fold the top as shown here. Then clip the sides together. Normally, I like to fold it a few times to make sure that no debris goes out when the vacuum is on. Now that the bag is sealed, swing it on your back just like when you used to go to school. The back bag has straps to adjust it to fit well on you. The last thing to do before getting to work is to plug this into an electrical source. You can of course use an outdoor outlet, but if you don't have one nearby and you're fortunate to have an electric vehicle like this Ford F-150 Lightning, you can simply plug it into one of the many outlets on the truck's bed. Once plugged in, all that's left is to press down on this button and hear it turn on. We are in business, folks. Have a look at this in action and notice that it is doing a great job at pulling in those leaves. But you'll also notice that this isn't a very fast progress. It will take some time to finish if you have a lot of leaves. While using the device, if you notice that the leaves are being pulled in slower, that might be a signal that the bag is starting to get filled up and it is ready to be dumped out. To do so, turn off the device and get a debris bag like this. I really like these Home Depot bags. They are sturdy, resilient, and easy to work with. Once the debris bag is fully open, grab the leaf bag and unclip it. Then place the leaf bag into the debris bag and shake it until all the shredded leaves are dumped out. Another benefit for using this instead of raking the leaves into the bags is that you'll use roughly half of the bags when the leaves are shredded. And that's a wrap, folks. Let's go over to the review to finish up here. All right, folks. So now for the review portion. Now that I've had a chance to use it once, I did notice a few things with it first. A couple times, what I realized is once I plugged everything in and I pressed the on button, it wouldn't start on. After a little bit of troubleshooting, what I realized is that at times, after you finish using it and you dump out the leaves, something must be getting either unhooked or stuck in the mechanism uh, where the machine has safety mechanisms in place where it won't let you actually run it if it either determines that it's not fully uh, locked in. 
uh, and that's what was going on. So I had to unlock it and then lock it back in and then it started working. It's a little bit of an inconvenience, uh, but it still works well. It's just one of those things that just keep that in mind where if you turn it on and it's not turning on, just unlock it, lock it back in and try again. Uh, and then another thing I noticed, which is actually a good thing, is that once in my use here today, I sucked up something that must have been uh, uh, either uh, leaves that were hooked onto a branch and the uh, vacuum sucked it in and then it stopped, uh, which means it definitely has a safety mechanism where it won't actually damage itself if it sucks something in that it can't actually ground up safely. So overall, Black & Decker corded three-in-one backpack, I give it a recommend on my AG squared review. Uh, I think for a hundred dollars, you really can't do any better than this. And I definitely would not use a battery powered one. That's just not enough power in those. Uh, this year, again, I get enough as long as you've got a, an extension cord and access to an outlet. And uh, listen, when it comes time for fall season, depending on when you're at, if you get a lot of leaves, uh, this is definitely going to be a good lightweight use for it. If you're in a place where you're getting a ton, and I do mean a ton of leaves, you might want to opt in for something that's going to be able to be a little more commercial grade. But I think for the most people, this is a great product to get for the holidays, early holidays, so that you don't have to worry about raking up all those leaves, picking them up, and then dumping them out. And that's, of course, if you can't use a lawnmower. Otherwise, if you have a lawnmower and you have over grass, uh, it's much easier to just simply use the lawnmower to uh, ground up those leaves. So, hope you found this useful, folks. And if you did, please consider liking and sharing this with the rest of your social circle, especially your neighbors uh, or, ho or, or fellow homeowners. And if you're interested in more topics around real estate, DIY, do-it-yourself repairs and renovations, topics on finance or topics on technology, check out my YouTube channel. And as always, folks, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.